Don't even say that, dude. That's just... That purple pick. Oh, if you have three hurt. purple Pikmin and grab it, just grounds them. That would actually be cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, we are still in Smash 4 here. And Solomar just starting off. Nice. DSS yeah. catching that um, landing with Tornado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a classic option from DSS also. Like, a lot of the times, if he feels like you're going to do a neutral getup, uh, or roll, actually, he'll be able to catch you with Nato. And a lot of, because Olimar does not have many options after he up -bees, um Olimar's will often throw out that hitbox. Whoa, interesting. Nice. He got a jab reset off of that? That was the weirdest hitbox I've ever seen, and he got a jab reset. He knew he was going to get a jab reset. Yeah, I mean, character players who have played their characters for this long in this series of Smash 4 definitely know the interesting things that the uh -huh. character can do. But Great catch from DSS right there. Solomar just felt like he was off stage for the <laughs> For the beginning of the whole set or match. Yeah, and um, looks like DSS is still comfortable enough with the Meta Knight against Olimar. And Olimar just died so early to uh, Meta Knight. Did he Ladder really just well. ladder from under the stage? Yes, he did. See, he brought him back to the stage. I mean, Olimar would have made it back anyway, so why yeah. not bring him back while taking some damage? Yeah. Okay. So Olimar, probably uncomfortable with how the first stock played out. Yeah, he's got to get a grip on this game again. Um, call some Pikmin back. Okay. Now he only has his um, red Pikmin, but he's back with all three now. Yeah, I, I want to see what uh, uh, what Pikmin that Solomar will opt to keep. Because I know there will be plenty of times where he'll just throw away Pikmin because he doesn't like him. Ooh, okay. Nice slice right there from Meta. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's and terrifying. Yeah, DSS just spamming that forward smash, realizing it will kill all Pikmin on him. Yeah, man, that blue Pikmin goes far. <laughs> oh, the yellow gosh. Pikmin goes even further. It yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Nice catch. Not enough to kill right here. Oh, oh and he gets a spike. Sit down. And the yellow one follows. After getting that spike, send him down. Okay. And down he can rack throw. up some damage now. Oh, that's it. dead. And that is death, yeah. Mm -hmm. Olimar can rack up damage quite quickly um, if he has the right combination of Pikmin. Yes, that's true. Especially especially with early grab combos. Yeah. Yeah, like... And if they don't, if the person does not DI properly as well, mm -hmm. he can get a lot of easy follow-up. I, I am interested to see what options Solomar will pick next game in the beginning of the match because he did opt to throw them. But if you just, like, kind of go for a grab in the start, you can get a pretty decent, like, chunk of damage. Do you know what frame Whistle comes out at? Because I'm curious if uh, there's any time he could actually there, use that the, to survive. There is. Apparently, it's, like, frame 3 to 7 or something like that. It was, like... It's it's smaller in this game than it was in Brawl. Yeah, it, it was it was harder. It's harder to get the Whistle or the Super Armor. I, I do know there will be times where uh, he will, he'll land with the Whistle and it down, down uh, Smash, but... Didn't see him do that too much this game. Okay. Wow, it took him forever to pull out that Pikmin. Oh my goodness. Solmar still hasn't taken a percent. He's just been playing very, very cautious. FD definitely lends itself to uh, playing a little bit campier and more evasive. Uh -huh. this, but this might do it if he gets Oh yeah, this actually will. He's willing to trade it. He's willing to trade it. He was at such a deficit. Oh yeah. A very frustrating thing to deal with as an Olimar main just dying so, so early to Meta Knight. But uh, it's what you got to watch out for. That's what you get for camping the legend standing around that area. Yeah. Right now, DSS air camping with uh, down air. Good thing, especially against Olimar, just because, you know, you can just hit the Pikmin right from the air. Yeah, when DSS doesn't want to engage, he doesn't like, um, he will just air camp um, mm -hmm. yep. and try and kill time. So. Given the circumstance, I don't think he wants to deal with what he had to deal with last stock, so yeah. he's just super content to just sit there and literally not engage. Yeah. It was uh, it was the same really, really back in the day, in the beginning of uh, early Smash 4, as he'll, he'll say it a lot, just camp him out. Just yeah. camp him out. Okay. Oh, interesting. Nice power shield right there. Saw the whistle, immediately shielded from that situation, but two purple Pikmin is very scary. Okay, just one now. He, just, he murdered the other one. Yeah, and DSS oh, he just stopped the camping the now, that, now that some percent has been taken. Um, I wonder if he's going to go back to it now that he has a lead. It looks like not. Uh-huh. Okay. Footstooled. Actually, accidentally footstooled him and got an, tried to up air. Down air, out of shield. The classic option from uh, Solomar, actually. But DSS gets that nice perfect shield and escapes it. And then gets mm -hmm. his grab to follow up. Yeah, okay. Two double down airs right before he lands. Man, the percentage just seems to slowly be racking up for both of these players right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great tornado option again from DSS. Realizing it covers all of Solomar's landing options. Yeah. Solomar doing force smash with Purple Pikmin. Not able to pick up DSS. 
All right. Yes, just wait. That's the option right there. Yeah, just back up a little bit. If, if GSS starts spamming that, you just got to back up and wait for him to uh -huh. drop out of the tornado. Because you can punish it super hard. Yeah. Interesting. Solomar opting just to throw the Pikmin right now. I do think he wants to keep the purple Pikmin. I'm surprised he's uh, tossing them like that. Ooh, great. Let's <gasps> get a little more damage racked up. Yeah, big damage right there. I think he wants a purple-red combination. Nope. DSS just murdered the purple Pikmin. And now he does have red being very strong. And purple is back as well. Uh-huh. Great landing right there. And instantly grabbed. Okay. That's dead. Very good drop down from uh -huh. DSS there. Understanding how low Olimar likes to go to recover. Yeah, and he's Meta Knight. He can go as low as he wants, man. Exactly. And Olimar does not have a lot he can do to contest that. Yeah. Like, if Olimar really wanted to prevent that from happening... Uh, he would have had to throw out like a forward air hitbox, which DSS could possibly impact. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have just been beat out straight out by that back air too. Yeah. So, okay. Ooh. I, I kind of like what was happening right there with Solomar. Solomar uh, going back to find destination. I just find it interesting how he was tossing the Pikmin at, near the end instead of actually like using like forest smash or something to try to bait out DSS. Oh no. Yeah, he was behind, so perhaps he just wanted to rack up a little bit more damage and have a few more chances. Nice. And he did not have a second pick there, so he could not follow up with an forward yeah. after that. Too much knockback. No, Ooh. DS is not going to off the suicide there. Yep. I don't, I don't think it was worth it, especially if the percents are so low. Yeah. Yeah, the first time around, DSS was willing to do that because he was at 100%. And DSS actually managed to break it back because of it. Oh, try to spike him, send him back down. Oh, no. Oh no, look at this. The edge guard is insane from DSS. DSS is oh. so far off stage and shuttle just loop barely shuttle catching loop. that shuttle loop. Yeah. DSS right has been, there. Yeah, DSS is putting the pressure on super hard onto Solomar. Solomar just throwing Pikmin now. It's racking up damage, but uh, he needs to get a kill as well here. Uh huh. But if DSS is just going to keep taking the damage, it's not a bad option. Yeah, and I feel like. Solomar, oh, he tried, okay, DSS tried to go for the footstool after the up air, I see it. Yeah, nice. Olimar's weight being a little different might make it harder to get that confirmed. Oh, great, the, the hit lag from killing the Pikmin gave Solomar enough time to get, get up attack, actually, as a punish. And these purple Pikmin have just been racking up so much damage on a DSS. Oh, okay, try to down smash, get a quick kill. <gasps> oh, okay, no more jumps. And Solomar deciding, I'm going to go high there. DSS has been trying to cover me low. All right, and punish? Nope. Oh, no. Try just, to read the rule. Yeah, goes too far. <laughs> Olimar just runs too slow. Ooh, tries to punish the forward smash. Actually, try to whip punish it. Great forward throw. Just head up for another edge guard. But Solomar retaliates with a down air. Yeah, down air not getting the spike hitbox. Still racks up a lot of damage. And with a blue Pikmin, he definitely could get the kill now. Uh -huh. Trying to sort it so he can do that. Yeah, and DSS does know what possibility oh i'm surprised he didn't go for a grab right there <gasps> okay Ooh, spaghetti and he's got two <laughs> purple pikmin and a blue that's yeah. a very nice combo to have uh -huh. <laughs> only 54 percent on solomar but that is a pretty lethal percent is he gonna be able to make it back yes maybe not oh okay okay i was worried because the weight of his pikmin does definitely add a lot to it yeah so he wouldn't be able to make it all that way nice he does not have his pikmin now he's gonna have a chance to recover because dss was still down below yeah but 80 percent. he was at 50 percent earlier okay opts to go for a down smash I don't think that's the highest amount of damage that he could have got, but he only had one Pikmin. And right? it, do it does give him some breathing room. The electricity does put DSS in a little bit more stun, so mm -hmm. it does give him a little more breathing room to pull more Pikmin and uh, figure out what his next move is. Since he does need to take some time now, they he does have quite a bit of time left. Three minutes is still a good bit of time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if DSS wanted to camp it out, he could, but it would still be yeah. a ways, and that's a lot of Pikmin to throw out. Okay, off. great, nice. That's good string right there from Solomar, and Ooh, put in the pressure. Pikmin. Yeah, beefy, now. beefy back airs. Uh huh. Now with the purple Pikmin and yellow. I wonder if he's gonna. Okay, whoa, okay. That might nice be. grab there. DSS does DI out. Uh huh. But then Solomar reads that and yeah. just air dodge. I don't think. Oh, wow. Jump air dodge option from Solomar right there. I don't think he wants to be off stage right now. Oh, he got the footstool back air instead of just going for a jump back air. Oh, no. All right. It's wow. a very tense moment here. Uh huh. Barely misses it. Wow, scary situation. Solomar not able to find the punish right there, but it is hard. And Solomar now back on stage safely with uh -huh. his two purple Pikmin. Does and make he's the actually in the lead. DSS just That's throwing out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that shuttle loop was for. <laughs> he was maybe trying to get a roll read or something, but uh, maybe he just felt Solomar was getting so much momentum back there. Yeah, that he, he def to definitely did. There. He went from 80% 80 to uh, 
100 to 97 or something like that. Yeah, very, wow. very good play from Solomar there. That recovery he did was very good as well, realizing how low he could drop down and actually waiting out uh, DSS's mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. recovery so that DSS had to recover and he could recover safely himself. Yeah, okay, uh, going to Lilat Cruz. Interesting, I do know DSS is comfortable on the stage, but you're giving Lilat to also Ol Olimar. So yeah. it's kind of a trade-off right there. I, I forget how Solomar feels about it, but I know uh, our own York man does absolutely love Lilac. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, yes, blue Pikmin. Ooh, okay, try to set up something nasty. Oh, no. Oh, no, is he? Okay. He's all right. He I might have not actually been able to make it back previously. No, I believe it. I believe he could have made it back. I just feel like if DSS did a Nair, it would have been a really weird situation to tech. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, nice, fair as a landing. You don't normally see that option for Meta Knight. Solomar going for a different option with that back throw there. Ooh, okay, try to go for something nasty right there, doing an up air, up B into another up air, but DSS understood the situation and stayed pretty far away from it. And right now we're seeing why Purple Pikmin are one of the strongest Pikmin. It just is so much pressure, even when Olimar is on the uh -huh. defense, being able to just wow. throw Purple Pikmin out there just creates such a wall for DSS to get by. Yeah, great shark right there, and this stage looks like it's actually proving to be against DSS. Yeah, and right there he did miss out on that shuttle loop Oh, as well. is that going to be dead? Smash is gonna kill too. Okay. DSS, probably not too happy that the stage is working against him right now, but I'm sure, I sure know Solomar is happy. Yeah, oh, that might have been the stage too as well. Ooh, that Nair is actually kind of gross. <gasps> oh, yep. no, oh, no, no, he's no, caught! No. He got caught under Lilat? I've never seen Solomar actually get caught under Lilat like that. That was a very, that was a grave injury that he took on there. Dude, oh, oh my gosh. All right, I, okay, hopefully Solomar finds his way back. Great recovery right there from Solomar and great out of shield Nair from DSS. Now Solomar has to find his way back. Oh my goodness. Oh, He's yellow so Pikmin racking up so much damage though on to DSS. I don't, think, I don't think the Pikmin other than the white Pikmin even do that much damage. I think if you let the yellow Pikmin stay on, it does like, I think, two I think it's. One, I think yellow is still one percent per hit. Oh, is it? Is I yellow think. the least amount of damage? I feel like I think it should be because it's given it, it flies the furthest and it's really to latch on. Oh, but okay. I'm not sure. Don't well, let me see, let me get that white Pikmin though. Oh, okay, great tech right there from DSS. I feel like Solomar could actually. Uh, oh no, okay. I, I spoke too early. I thought he had momentum, in, but oh, and the forward smash is going to take it. That mo <laughs> he does. I, I don't know about that. He just kind of threw that out there. I mean, DSS was going for neutral get-ups a fair bit. That's true. So. That's true. It was a good it was a good call out right there from Solomar. DSS doesn't seem to be too phased by it. Checks his phone. Yeah, I, I think it's also like, okay, it's Lilat. We had to play on Lilat eventually. You know? Yeah, it's hard to avoid now, certain now, stages. Certain now we don't have Lilat. Now I'm going to buy an FD, and we're going to play on a real stage. <laughs> I'm sure that's what DSS is thinking about. Yeah, it is. So it is DSS's pick. So I mm -hmm. don't think he'll take it back to Lila after Ooh, that one. Ooh, Dreamland. And Dreamland is interesting because Solomar has a lot less room to recover under the stage. Yes, that's true. On top of that, like the fl uh, flatter, uh, what is it, size of the stage makes it so much easier to edge guard. Okay, try to go for down tilt double jab, but not finding it. It will make Meta Knight a little bit easier to edge guard as well, but it still is very difficult to edge guard and Meta Knight because of his many jumps uh -huh. and up beat. Nice, great challenge with that Nair. Most people jump way too close to, to Olimar, allowing him to get that Nair. Nice, actually get Purple Pikmin to fair right there. And DSS has shown some nice patience. They're just waiting for Solomar to throw uh -huh. an option, even oh. though DSS was the one who was cornered, and that might pay off here. Mm -hmm. That was a good catch from DSS. Solomar needs to bring this back. 38% only on uh, DSS. Yes, he right. does have some work to do. Uh huh. Dang, it feels like Solomar's luck with Pikmin like dying when they fly off the stage has been pretty bad because I've seen him like pluck thin air like five times. Yeah, that's the other thing is there is a big low a low bottom here on Dreamland, so it does give Pikmin quite a few bit of time to fall off and die. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, and, it's not, and it hasn't just been happening in this game for the whole set. It looks like he's been plucking nothing sometimes when he wants to toss and throw out a different Pikmin. Okay, great. Solmar actually Oh, oh and he gets a shield break, and shield? he has a purple on the ready. Wait, with blue? Blue, blue Pikmin. Pikmin. Okay. He's at 116. Wow, so. great awareness right there from Solmar. And actually manages to bring it back. Oh, okay. Solmar has right so there. much momentum right here. Uh-huh. But that could all flip once Solomar gets off stage. Lay it, last hit of Nair actually catches DSS, but up it tilts. 
Okay. Is racking up some nice damage himself. Ooh, nice. super armor coming through there. Yeah, okay, up B. Wow, managed he has to, to snipe those Pikmin. Yeah, but the Pikmin are actually still alive. Oh, no. <gasps> Great jump right there from uh, Solomar. And Axe Solomar decides not to go for the punish, which is a smart move right there. Yeah, you gotta reset that neutral. You gotta watch out because DSS might have just shielded and gonna try to go for an up B out of shield there. Exactly. Um, Solomar at that magic percent as well. Yeah, double purple Pikmin. And toss. Oh, okay, okay. This is the ideal setup right here from Solomar. Oh, no, he tossed. He, he did lose a purple. Um, oh. Barely, barely surviving that one. Oh, great air dodge right there from Solomar. <gasps> okay. Using the Pikmin to change his air speed a little bit. All right. Solomar actually doing a good job controlling the center of the stage. DSS willing to give it up, actually. Yeah, DSS realizing he only needs one stray hit into an up B to get the confirm. Mm -hmm. So as long as he can avoid some form of combat, he's fine. But nice yeah. little purple snipe there. Yeah. It's always good to tack on that extra percent. Oh, forward smash. Wow. Tr Solomar actually brave enough to counter with his own forward smash all right i like i like the idea from dss DSS right is getting there. a little more aggressive here mm -hmm. the one scary thing with all of ours Ooh. is if you do give him any breathing room it, he does have time to get the pikmin he wants to get and great that air, pick up he's not gonna take it yet all right he has a purple still he's not gonna be able to use the purple with yeah that's dead yeah, yeah. There was nothing Solomar could have done right there. No double jump in that situation. Yeah, he could have tried to recover a little bit high, but he carrying could've. one purple Pikmin as well does slow down your uh -huh. It's also a very bit. scary to go high against Meta Knight because he kills you. Oh all yeah, the he top. just goes up B. Uh huh. So great, uh, fantastic match. Yeah, from both great players. set actually. Um, Solomar showed.